Kevin McGinn. In the holiday season, there are two things I always look forward to. One, sweet treats. I love that there are cookies always set up in everybody's house whenever you go to them. And the second thing that I look forward to in the holidays is on Christmas Eve, I always go to my friends Kirker and Karen's place and uh, spend Christmas Eve with them and their family. Now, I've been in Los Angeles a while and I never travel home for Christmas. And plus I don't really have a home in which to go to. So it's always nice to have a place to go on Christmas Eve. And I love it because they're a family that doesn't fight. Uh, all their extended family, they all get along. There's a music circle at one point in the evening. Everybody puts together a puzzle throughout the night. It's the hottest Christmas Eve ticket in LA. And I love it and I wanna make sure that I'm always invited every year. So when I'm there, I am the ideal house guest. I help clean up, I wash dishes, uh, when I get there every year, I always make the salad. It's always a big thing, like, hey, Kevin's making the salad. <laughs> because I want to make sure I'm invited back. And every time I do one of these nice gestures, I can see the look of joy on their face. And I know for a fact I'm going to be invited back again. <laughs> Christmas of 2016. We're on the back porch. It's a lovely Los Angeles, overly hot Christmas Eve. <laughs> And Karen says, ooh, I'm gonna set up some tea lights that I bought today all around the back patio. And she was very excited, it was very obvious, she was excited. And I had not gotten to make the salad because I arrived late. And I needed to get to clean up yet. But I wanna make sure I did something. So I said, ooh, I'll help, I'll put them out. She hands me the box and I pull it out of the plastic and the, or pull it out of the box, and the plastic, once I get to a certain point, the tea lights are too heavy within it, and then as I do that, they all just fall and shatter all over the ground. The time between me saying, I'll help, and shatter, 20 seconds. And when I look at Karen's face, I see disappointment. And I wonder if I'm going to be invited back again next year. Christmas of 2017, I am invited back, but I'm on a self-imposed probation. I wanna make sure I don't mess up again this year because the tea light thing left a mark. So, I don't get to make the salad. It's an a la carte night, so everybody kinda of cleans up their own stuff, so I don't really do much throughout the night, and I've not really earned my keep. Towards the end of the evening, I walk through the kitchen and there is a cookie sheet with some wax paper on it and a bunch of different sugar cookies of different sizes and shapes all on it. And that year I had been not wanting to have a lot of sugar intake, so I'd skipped other desserts, but I love a sugar cookie. <laughs> but I don't want to be rude and take the first one because there's different uh, shapes. There's a star, there's a big tree, a little tiny, little tiny star. And I walk by and I don't take one. I'm gonna wait till someone else takes one and then I will. Then about 15 minutes go by and then the siren song of these sugar cookies <clears throat> starts to take over. So I say, oh, well, you know what? I'm just gonna have a tiny one. I'm just gonna have a little star. So I walk by and I grab the star, pop it right in my mouth and immediately regret this decision because the taste of this thing just overwhelms my mouth and it is awful and it starts dissolving in my mouth and I just can't believe that I have this in my mouth and I turn towards the trash can and Karen is standing right there between me and the trash can and I don't know what to do because I can't tell her her cookies are fucking terrible and I want to spit it out into a trash can and never have it in my mouth again. So as I'm looking at her, I do the only thing I think I can do in that moment which is to bite down and I hear this reverberating sound in my head as I do and then I eventually chew it and get it and swallow it down and now I have the secret that these cookies are terrible and no one else should eat them 
but I don't know how to tell this or if I even should because I want to be invited back again next year. I decide that I need to take the brunt of this. I need to fall down on the sword and just tell her her cookies are terrible and no one should eat them. So I do it in a kind of a fun way. I walk up to Karen and say, hey, what are those right over there? And she looked at me and goes, they're ornaments. And I said, what? And she said, yeah, they're equal parts salt, flour, a little bit of water to keep them together. And all I keep thinking is, I just ate paste. And I say, what do you think that would do to the human body? She's confused, and she said, if you threw it at it? And I said, no, if you ingested it. Did you eat one? Yes. At this point, Karen bursts out laughing and makes an announcement to everyone, hey, Kevin just ate an ornament. And they all joined in and started laughing. And even though my system was screwed up for 72 hours following, when I saw the looks of joy on their faces after I ate an ornament, I knew that I would be invited back again next year. Thank you very much.